NLCS action. Oh, 2 and 0 in this series. Who's going to take game 3? We're about to find out here on 2K Sports. This is your pennant race broadcast. He is electric. That describes Jake Peavy. And he's out there on the mound and we'll have a chance to watch it. Close to 40,000 fans to witness this one. It will be John Lackey the starter. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? Well, the offense is going to be important to support this good right-handed pitcher on the mound today. He's facing a great lineup. This team can put some runs up on the board. So if his club could score early, it could take some of the pressure off of him and allow him to get in the strike zone a little earlier in the count. Lineup for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Any of these bats stand out, John? Well, when you watch Johnny Damon, you don't want to emulate his swing. It's not one of the prettiest swings you ever see in baseball. Steve, while well, we have a second or two here, what do you make of the Red Sox chances in this game? Well, luckily for them, this series isn't over. They're quite capable of turning things around and in a hurry. They just have to take it one game at a time. And remember, this series is not over. And so Damon retired. There is plenty of balls Steve left to be played here. You have to keep that in mind. You just, you got to win one and then the next one. Well, they can't panic. If they start to panic, then it's over. They have to just worry about this game today. And that one is through. First hit of the ball game for this club. Take a look at the Red Sox defensively. Thought Steve, anybody stand out? Marco Scuro has worked very hard to improve his defense. He came up as a utility player. He's turned himself into an everyday shortstop, and now he can make every play. The pitch from Lackey. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0 and 1. Well, he was way behind on that one. Must have been looking for something else. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Benerko now will look to tighten up that zone. That one swung on, hit in the air deep to left field. Out number two. Now batting for the Chicago White Sox. Right field. And Quinton settles in. A runner on first with two outs. Hit sharply towards the hole. Now Just kind of lean in, Steve, and slap off. that thing the other way on that kind of pitch. Well, you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it to right field. He's one of the best at doing it. And Beckham's in the box. A swing and a foul off to the right side. John Lackey delivers the strike. He's in charge. 0 and 2. I pulled the string on that curveball, took a little bit off, and had him way out in front. There's a swing and a miss, but he's headed for first. He gets the throw down to first base, and they'll get the out. That's a great play there by the catcher when the pitcher throws. And uh, we'll get to see Jake Peavy pitching. He gets settled in for Chicago. And Steve, as he faces these Boston hitters, what will be the focus? Well, as a hitter, you take a look, you know you're facing Jake Peavy in this one, and you know, you've got some concern because he has that explosive fastball and then that nasty slider. Peavy gets so many ground ball outs, he keeps the ball in the ballpark. As a hitter, you want to try to get him to elevate his pitches and hit a mistake. He fouled off that first pitch, a one-strike count. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. And he's on. That's a nice way to jumpstart your offense. Lineup time, courtesy of Pepsi. Here's a look at how Terry Francona said it. Scouting report, John. How about some picks? Well, anytime Victor Martinez is in the game, you expect good production. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. Over to second for one. And they get two. Great double play. A uh, beautiful looking double play right there. A pitcher's best friend. That shortens the inning, shortens the number of pitches that have to be thrown. It's all about defense. So for a chance, Kevin Euclid, two down. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Swung ground ball to short. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. And a moment to check out the defensive alignment for the White Sox. Any picks here, Steve? 
Joe Creedy has great reactions in the hot corner, Gary. He gets great instincts to be able to move, glove the ball, and a strong, accurate arm. And Victor Martinez. And that'll put Martinez on it first now. Well, even though he had two hits in the last game, his team lost. But he keeps swinging the bat like this. Good things are going to happen. Mike Cameron now, two down, two on. Nope, that one not in there. PV missing. 1 0 now. And he takes a strike on that fastball. 1 1. I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. They pounded a fastball down and in for a strike. 1 1 pitch, slider, taken for a strike. 1 and 2. And it remains 1 and 2. That is a call strike three to Mike Cameron. He's gone. And Jake Peavy setting in. Works his way out of the first inning without allowing anyone to score. And it'll be the White Sox. And Alex Rios to lead off. Center fielder, number 51, Alex Rios. Lackey's pitch swung on and missed. 0-1. He deals. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Well, anytime you recognize a slider, you got to be very patient with it. You can't swung on, hit. Oh, mercy. Boy, that did not miss him by much, but he got out of the way. So Rios is set down. Oh, uh, you talk about a friend in need. They team up and get the out. Wow. One out, faces him. Blackie's pitch swung on and missed. 0 and 1. And that's a strike. AJ Pruszynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. And AJ Pruszynski strikes out, unable to make contact on that pitch. A textbook way of pitching. Three pitches, three strikes. Outstanding command during that at bat. Greedy into the batter's box. Mm, tight rotation there, and it just misses. One and zero. Oh. Swing and a miss. Creedy, no contact. Evens the count. The batter was obviously looking for something else. You see how way out in front he was on that swing. Swing and a miss, and the ball tailing down. One and two. Swung on, line to right field. And for Hamida, out number three. Good defensive half inning there. No. Hit. You take a look at a highly respected manager, Terry Francona. Only one team stands in the way of taking his club to the World Series. All that hard work in the season coming into play right here. Fielded by Ramirez. So Beltre is set down. And it's Jeremy Hermida now. Nobody on base, one away. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Oh. Taps this one foul off to the left. Here's the pitch. Oh. And he fouls another one off. You're up. And Jeremy Hermida watching that one for strike three. Gary, he threw a two-seamer. Here's KK. Marco. Now you like doing this as a pitcher when you when you can place it down and in like that, boy, that is tough to hit. Well, it came down and in on him a bit, just caught the enough of the strike zone to get the call from the umpire. And we're gonna see Scudero here. Throws on the first in time to retire the side. Three up, three down for Jake Pete. And Jim Tomey to lead it off. Designated hitter, number 27. Jim Tony. Here's one hit very well deep. And Cameron makes the play. One away. And it's Johnny Damon now. Base is empty, one out. First pitch on the way to Damon. 
There's a swing. This one blasted high, deep center field. Out of here, a home run. The first run of the ball game. You'll have to get that on the big fly ball and a 1-0 lead. Now, Gary looked like he was setting on that pitch. He got it and drove it out of the park. What well, they're going to want to do in this ball game now is take advantage of that and build that momentum up. Well, they need to still be aggressive out there and go right after him. And it's a called strike to Ramirez. Well, that's textbook use of the sinker. Down and away, pounding the strike zone. Good pitch. And John Lackey delivers the strike. He's in charge, 0-2. Swing and a miss. Three strikes and Alexei Ramirez is set down. First Check out the movement on this on KCAM. Clocks in at 85 miles per hour. Base is empty with two outs. And the first pitch. Lackey's pitch swung on and missed. 0-1. On, on the way. And Canerco will take it down low for a ball. Hitting 250 lifetime against John Lackey. Good downward action on that sinker. One and two. Well, you can tell he was looking for something hard, and he got that sinker down and in. He swung through it. And Paul Canerco strikes out, could not make contact. Well, nothing doing the first couple of innings, but they got it across in the third. The White Sox lead it. Quick look at Ozzie Guillen looking up. Yeah, what he needed out of his lineup that last time through. This lead now something he can try to protect if he can get some solid pitching. Ball strike, and PB's got him on one. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, one and one. And he looks at the slider in there, and it's one and two now. Well, that's a great choice of pitches right there. Not much the hitter can do with that. Just try to spoil it, maybe go after the next one. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out, one down. KK presents the two-seamer. Take a look. And Jacoby Ellsbury to bat. Career number, 4-11 off the white side. The o, o delivery, a fastball taken for a strike. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him up a little bit. And it's 0-2. Ellsbury cut it down, protect. Here's the delivery. And Jacoby Ellsbury is a strikeout victim. No contact on that swing. Well, just a great sequence of pitches. Three good choices by the pitcher and the catcher, and he finishes them off quickly. All pitchers love that. Those are short at bats. You get it done in a hurry. Hit in the air to left center. And it's in there. He's got himself a base hit. So Kevin Euclid will come up. Oh, I love being able to get hits with two outs. Even if there's no one on base, you don't drive in any runs. What it does is, though, it prolongs the inning and it makes the opposing pitcher work harder and can possibly get him out of the game earlier. Pauses and now the 1-0. One -oh. One pitch, a slider in there. What a one. Lifetime. 233 hitter off the White Sox. Here it comes. A line drive toward short. And they get the force at second that time. That'll do it. Solid out. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. He's one for one so far. Number 20, Carlos Quinton. First pitch to Quinton. And Lackey has him with an 0-1. That on the called strike. Look at the movement on this pitch. This 12 to 6 curveball just falls right off the table. Right. Nearly impossible to hit this pitch anyway. A smash to first, and it gets through. Great swing today. Now two hits. Now coming to back. Boy, I don't know in that count, Steve. Number, number one, the fact that he swung is kind of a surprise. I don't know how he hit that. Wow. You're right. On an 0-2 count, you have to protect the plate. Sometimes it's a defensive swing, but sometimes it works out. And Beckham's in the box. Struck out swinging his last time up. No one out and a runner on first. The first pitch. Slider swung on and missed. 0-1. 
He has not hit well in this particular matchup. Only 136 against Boston. Swings, clobbers it deep. Left center field. That'll be off the gray monster out there in left. And that's going to play Alex Rios. Uh, gets a letter high pitch, a good pitch to hit, and he takes advantage of it. Nice job. Hitting from behind is not an easy thing to do in this game, but a little easier when the pitch is up there. Uh, you throw it over the plate like that, it's going to cost you. And it falls in. Hitting streak continues. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. Uh, now he's surrendered three straight hits. He's got to bounce back and get this guy. He needs an out. Now John Lackey's pitching some awfully big games in his career, and this is a big situation right now. And he's fighting to keep this game tight right here. He's got to come up with a way to get multiple outs with the bases loaded. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. That's going to one hop off the wall. And Quinton's home. And that's two runs. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Third base, number 29, Joe Creedy. Great hitting or poor pitching, I'm not sure which. He may be running out of gas, but that's now four straight hits against him. Not looking real good. And Joe Creedy in the box. Just one player picking up after another, Steve. This is, this is a good offensive show going on, and they're climbing the ladder with it. Now that last hit puts a little bit more daylight in this lead right now, Gary. They keep tacking on early. The first pitch was fouled off. It's on one. Not a comfortable lead yet, but it's an early statement. Well, it's a statement that says, you know what? We're going to oh. score some runs for our, our guy and putting pressure on the opposition's offense. Well, the battle starts when you step in the batter's box, but the real battle starts when the count is 0-2, and, and that's where he sees himself. Give him credit. He's keeping himself alive by fouling off that tough 0-2 pitch on the outside part of the plate. Let's see if he can make the pitch or make a mistake. Here's a chance to capitalize RBI for Jim Tomey. He has remained hitless in 18 career at-bats against John Lackey. The pitch from Lackey. And that's a strike. Tomei is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. You're Swing out. and a miss. Gets away. He's heading for first. Out. Oh, and he got him. What a throw. He gets the play at first base. Hey, Gary, as soon as the pitcher lets go of the ball, he knows what can happen in this situation. He's hoping his catcher can stop it and get the out in time. Great heads up play. There's a big two right there. First pitch on the way to Damon. Lackey's pitch swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Oh, look at that big 12 to 6 breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch for any hitter to stay back on. Oh, oh boy, and now they can run. Can't get him. The run scores on the error. Well, he boot that one, and obviously leading to a run scored right there, so you can't. Swung on, that is hit. They pick up four hits in the inning and three runs across the plate. The White Sox, four run lead. There's Terry Francona, the manager. He's trying to hide the disappointment right now and also thinking about a way to get back into the ball game. At the belt, Peavy kicks and back up the middle. And he gets it down. He's two for two now. That's going to bring Mike Cameron up. Well, anytime you get your first hitter up in the inning, big things can happen. It opens up a lot of holes in the defense, and it makes it a lot easier to hit for the guys behind you. On the ground to short, and he's up with it. That's one. And two. They got both of them that time. Well, here's a double play that looks like they ordered up. Great turn to throw at second base. He's ready to make the play. An example of a nicely executed double play. First one to Beltre. Here's the pitch. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. Well, you're going to see the frustration starting to mount a little bit here. They've had their opportunities getting big. Hut shot towards the hole. Yeah. And out. Pitcher makes a nice play at first base. That was a nice play. Saw the opportunity at first. Didn't waste any time getting over. That's the key. Beat the runner to the back. Good hustle off the mound. He did four pitches to set down the guys to members. Alexi Ramirez. And here's the first one. Ramirez will foul that one away.
And the 0 1 by Lackey. Hit sharply towards the hole. And he'll step on the back. That'll be the first out. And here's Paul Canerco. Hit sharply towards the hole. And Canerco retired. Carlos Quinton at the plate for two away. Two for two in the game. And Martinez setting his target. Blackie's pitch swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Well, you can tell by that approach. He was looking for that fastball. He got it, but still out in front. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. There's a swing and a miss, but he's headed for first. And out. The catcher makes the play. Oh, that's a great play, Gary. Pitch in the... For those of you catching up with us, hi, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Crock and Steve Phillips bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Fresh count on Hermida. Here it comes. Ground ball to short. Fielded by Ramirez. So Hermida is retired. And we're going to see Scudero here. His lifetime average is 382 against the White Sox. Fastball just misses. 1 and 0. And PV with a 1 0 delivery. And he looks at a slider that's in there. 1 and 1. I don't think he liked that call very much, but the reality is he couldn't hit that any. Headed for the middle. PV. Retiring Scudder. Wow, great reactions right there. Doesn't waste any time at all getting his glove on the ball, then easily throws it to first and retires the run. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Called strike below the waist, and he's in the hole now, 0 and 2. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. Slider swung on and missed. Struck him out. That's going to retire the side. And they're held in check here in this half inning. Still unable to score. Boston. Taking account of the ball game, there's Ozzie Guillen. And he has to be happy with the work on the mound, especially that last inning. Insurance run so important. Lackey's pitch swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Well, right there, you can just tell that the hitter was absolutely fooled on that pitch. Nothing you can do. You try to reach out and just put it in play, but he swung through it. Struck him out. That's number eight in the game. He's getting that hard, boring, sinking action on that pitch today. Getting guys to swing over the top. Two strikeouts in a row. And he starts Rios out. Blackie's pitch swung on and missed. On one. That's a strike, and it's 0 2. Time for Rios now to protect. A swing and a miss. Strike three, but a chance at first. No, oh, and he got him. What a throw. He gets the play at first base. And Gary, as soon as the pitcher lets go of the ball, he knows what can happen in this situation. He's hoping his catcher can stop it and get the out in time. Great heads up play. There's a big two right there. And here's the first one. This one's grounded oh. foul wide at first. He makes contact, line drive. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. That's going to bring Joe Creedy up. Well, with two outs and no one on base, chances of scoring a run seem pretty scarce. But they get that two out hit. Now they have some life. The pitch from Lackey. Swing and a drive. Deep left Sutter. It's up against the wall and a bounce. Here's Zinski towards third base. Now Fantastic chance here. Well, a key contributor in that last win. Three big hits in that game. And he's seeming to find a way again to get it started. Here's a chance to capitalize RBI for Jim Tomey. 
A career 268 hitter against the Red Sox. And the 0-1 by Lackey. That swung on, line towards the gap in left center. And there's Ellsbury for the third out. They give it's Jacoby Ellsbury to lead us off. One for two in the ball game. Number two. First pitch. Swung on and missed. Peavy getting it by. Here's the delivery. Ground ball up the middle. And Ramirez fields the ball. And that'll retire Ellsbury. Number Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here. That's six in a row that he set down. First pitch is a slider in there on one. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Strike two with that. No balls, two strikes. Pedroia now, short in the swing, short enough on the bat. I don't think he liked that call very much, but the reality is he oh. couldn't hit that any day of the week. That's a great pitch. Pedroia oh. fouls off another. Well, the pitcher did exactly what he wanted to do on that 0-2 count. He wanted him to swing the bat, and he did, but he just fouled it off. Great piece of hitting. And he looks at a call third strike on the slider, two down. Well, this slider's up and away, but with two strikes, you have to swing and try to make contact there. Here's the first delivery to Euclid. Swung on and a ground to first. And he'll step on first to retire the side. And he... We're taking a look at Terry Franco. And uh, tough decisions maybe or maybe not. This bench needs some inspiration. He'll try to give it to him. Now swinging a shot toward second. And so Damon retired. And it's Alexei Ramirez now one away. Rounded out last time. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. There's a smash towards the hole. And Euclid pulls it in. And it's Paul Canerco now. He'll be seeking his first hit right here. Two outs and nobody on. The pitch from Lackey. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. Can you say ground ball? That's what that sinker down of the zone is meant to do. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. Well, that's just a great pitch right there. I mean, that's the hardest pitch for a hitter to try to stay back on. That's why he was out in front of that one. Quick half inning there. It's over five pitches. Leadoff hitter, Victor Martinez. Two for two in the game. Number 41, Victor Martinez. And Martinez ready to start the at-bat. First pitch. Smash towards the middle. And it's caught by Ramirez. We have said it more than once today, but he continues to look extremely sharp, Steve. He's so locked in. You, you wonder how long he can keep it going. I haven't seen anybody pitch like this in a long time. That's a strike. Peavy gets it by him. Well, what an outstanding effort uh, by the pitcher today. I mean, he has just been on top of his game. Make on the ground is short. And Ramirez fields the ball. So Cameron is retired. Man, he has just mastered this offense in this ball game, and no signs he's letting up. Now he's been sharp all game long, but you just hope going through the order for the third time and the fourth time, guys don't start picking up on the tendency. Called strike, and PB's got him on one. Well, he gets the breaking ball right over the heart of the plate. He must have been looking for something ball. else. And Adrian Beltre looks at that one for a ball. It'll even it up. One and Sharp two. bike to that slider. One and two. The one, two on its way. Hit up the middle. Wow, that was close. Right back up the middle. Almost got it. 
That'll bring Jeremy Hermida to the plate. Uh, he takes this one-two pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit when you're behind in the count. You just want contact, and he got it. Swing and a miss on the cutter. 0 and 1. That's a strike, and it's 0 and 2. Time for Hermida to protect. Well, for a ball that had that type of movement on it, that slider had surprising velocity, and the hitter just couldn't catch up. He swung late. Ended this inning with a nice piece of pitching work as he gets the K. And a frustrated lineup indeed. That's now seven shutout innings. The White Sox still on top. Cleanup batter, do up next. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. He'll lead it off here, inning number eight. Carlos Quinton. First pitch to Quinton. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. The pitch from Lackey. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quentin needs to protect that strike zone. Well, he got a little over anxious on that last sinker and swings. Swing and a miss. Gets away. He's heading for first. He gets the throw down to first base, and they'll get the out. That's a great play there by the catcher. When the pitcher throws one in the dirt like that, he's really hoping the catcher will block it, keep it in front, and be able to get the out at first. Kind of plays that can change the momentum of a game if you don't get that out. Perhaps this one foul to the right. Swung on, hit sharply to first. Now so that'll bring Alex Rios Chicago to the plate. Well, anytime your pitcher gives up 10 hits, there's a pretty good chance he doesn't have a lot going for him in the game. And I think if I'm the manager, I'm going to head out there and bring the hook with me. And he starts Rios out. Lackey's pitch swung on and missed. On one. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. Swings, hits this one in the air, down the right field line. Two down. Now back for the Chicago White Sox. It's going to be Brzezinski. Two for three thus far. Oh, they're winning here, Gary. One of the reasons why is because he's driven in a couple runs in this one. Runner on first, two away. First pitch on the way. Lackey's pitch swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Well, listen, the one thing with a good sinker ball, a pitcher can be aggressive, and he's aggressive with his. He really could be a one pitch pitcher just with this sinker. He's looking a little confused out there right now. He just swung at a pitch that was in the dirt. And you really love having a sinker. Well hit towards the middle. Scooter rope. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. The inning. And if you're just joining our 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast with John Crook and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. First pitch, here it comes. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1 0. Look here, listen, he's, he's made pitches. He's at, they've had a few base runners on against them, no question about it. Swing, and oh, he shatters his bat. As he hits this one on the ground. One away. And now we've got one down here in this eighth inning of a shutout ball game. Now he's just putting on a show out there right now, Gary. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. Line softly up the middle. And it's caught by Ramirez. And again, there's no doubt, as has been the case throughout this game, he's in charge. Alex, so when you got a guy pitching like this, you got to give him a shot and they go all the way. Called strike, and PB's got him on one. Now that he's gotten the four seamer down and in, look for him to go outside now. Keeps it down that time, 0 and 2. He fouls that one off. Oh. Oh. Ellsbury fouls off another. 
Well, with the way we keep track of pitch counts right now, you know 0-2, the pitcher wants to put him away. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Fielded by Ramirez. Throws on to first, side is retired. He's got eight. Joe Creedy in the box. He's got a start at the ninth inning. Number 20. Joe First pitch to Creedy. That pitch was way too low, but he swung at it anyway. It's a strike. And John Lackey delivers the strike. He's in charge. 0 and 2. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there. He got that slider in the strike zone. He got the hitter out in front. The swinger. But they got him there, and that was a nice strikeout. And as Jim told me at the plate, he flew out his last time up. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Here's a swing, a long high drive deep into center field. Gone, a home run. Add one more to that lead. Solo, big fly ball up by five. Well, another home run right there. That's two now. So really, this this lineup looking like they're getting very comfortable. White Sox lead expanding here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Line shot into center field, and he cannot cut it off. This is a one hopper off the wall, and he'll stop at second base, and it will be a double. Well, two hits the last game, and you can see he was getting a little confidence as that game went on, and he's carrying it into this one with another good start. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. He's had one hit four times up. Oh, and Lackey's pitch swung out and missed. Oh, and one. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling oh, right one. now. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. Here it comes. Oh. Low for a ball to Ramirez. If you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. He swings now and really hit that. And it's going to be Cameron. Damon heads for third. I mean, the runner advances the third on this one. Obviously, he would have liked to have driven him in, but at least he advanced the runner. Now he needs someone to pick him up and deliver that RBI. Only 90 feet away from scoring. With a run 90 away, here is Paul Canerco. 271 is lifetime average off Boston. That's on that off speed pitch, but can't connect on one. Well, he fooled him terribly with that pitch. I mean, that is one of those pitches right there. Lined right at the second baseman. And Damon crosses the plate. I mean, the back. Well, they just keep adding to the lead right now. That ought to be enough to carry him through the bottom half of the inning. First pitch to Quinton. And that runs high, 1 0. It's risky to come in that far off the plate, even to send a message, because you sometimes hit the batter. Ready with a 1 0. There's contact. He drove it well. Oh, that one's off the wall. I mean, the bat. Well, he's having himself a day right here in this one. Two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. And here's the first one. There's a swing and a liner towards first. And it's in there. They're going to try and score Canerco. There's the throw. And Canerco will score. He scores. He beats him to the plate. He'll pull into third. That's a two RBI three bagger. Number 51, Alex Rios. Well, that big lead just got a little bit bigger, and I have to think this one's just about over. Then on third, two down. The pitch in there for a strike. He's hitting 333 lifetime off Mark Hendrickson. Swing and a miss. He's behind 0 and 2.
putt shot towards the hole. And he'll step on first to retire the side. So they add a four spot here to extend their lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. As again, taking a look at you right there. He has to be very pleased right now riding this one out. Fresh count on Pedroia. Here it comes. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. And Pedroia has got himself a single. So Kevin Euclid will come up. Well, a great job right there by the first hitter in this inning to get on base. And you know, a lot of big innings are started with that first guy getting on. And you have one or two big innings in a game, and that can be the difference in the outcome. And he takes one in there on one. Well, this offense has just been shut down in this one. I mean, they left, they've left. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. And in there, base hit. We're going to see Victor Martinez next. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. And by the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. And Martinez ready to start up the middle. He's up with it. One away. Too late, and he is safe at second. Ball back to the pitcher. He's got to make a decision. He should have had his mind made up earlier. Instead, he gets the out at first base. Now his work's cut out for him with two runners on in scoring position. And that swung on and hit. Rios. Two retired here. For the Boston Red Sox. Third base. Adrian Beltre hits Adrian here with two on. Had a base hit his last time up. First one to Beltre. Here's the pitch. Oh. It's hit foul by Beltre. That's a strike in an 0-2 count. And Beltre now be careful of the K. Fans are on their feet right now. They know two strikes on the hitter. They need to keep this thing going. And a fly ball could be the last out. And Pedroia crosses the plate. Boy, this lineup, they are hot right now. The chances, they are productive. Uh, just the same to see the shutout broken up right there, Gary. But still, just a tremendous performance today. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. And it goes foul. Fouled off. And that's another foul ball. And it's in there. Strike three call. That's it. What a big win right here on the road. Winning a playoff game. That's awfully tough to do and can go a long way to winning a series, Jerry. And it's our pleasure to present you with the Pepsi Clutch Performer. A terrific mound game. The work of Jake Peter. Well, you know, Gary, he made just that one mistake, but that doesn't tarnish the shine of this performance today. And I'll tell you what, a manager absolutely loves it when he doesn't have to go to the bullpen. He can give those guys a day off, and it makes them stronger for the remainder of the season. But I tell you, this guy was throwing strikes today, and it was an easy decision to keep him in the game. And as they put the victory up in this one, they now sit enviably, we might add, just one win away from winning the series. And you have to credit them. They've come so far this year, and now they find themselves just one win away. This has to be a gratifying victory. And that's going to do it for us here. For Steve Phillips, John Crock, I'm Gary Thorne. Take care.